Hey everybody, Psychosaurus is here. Welcome back to Age of Empires Online. And today we're gonna do the fastest opus you've ever seen. And let's get to it right away. Why not? <laughs> and oh boy, I couldn't believe that I could do it this fast. Oh boy. And I'm gonna say it. It feels dumb. Not gonna lie. And you will soon see why. And it's because of the piercing frost arrows. Cause yeah, uh, goddamn strong. Okay, come on. Okay, here we go. So if you don't remember Opis, it's this one How would I describe it? One corridor quest Where you have to go like Through a lot of areas To reach the end and Pretty much all you have to do is just destroy fortresses and kill generals That's pretty much it. There's nothing else to do. <laughs> That's the whole quest. That's pretty much all you have to do. Just go through the this huge or not huge, like long corridor, reach the end. And obviously this is not one of the most popular quests among the players for some reason. It's a nice quest, come on, it's a really good quest. I don't know why people don't like it. It's nice. It's not that hard. Sure, it might take a little bit of practice, but it's not that hard. Yeah, I could use this, thank you. And yeah, you study this area. You have a lot of you have a lot of studying resources around here, which is huge. Helps a lot. So I don't know what's the problem here. You just work fast. Villagers. Now, obviously, you don't have much space around here for your markets. That's something that may one might find quite annoying. And to get the for the distance, you actually need to work for it. Huge advantage is for the Rodian. This advantage to Ziggurat, not the TC, which saves some work time. Oh, 
Those upgrades, we'll need those. We get at least the market. <laughs> because why not? You can at least sell some of those extra resources you have. Everywhere of these by -reams. some progress. I got to mention you have a time challenge to destroy these four barracks. If you destroy them, you actually get extra resources. Up. 
Okay. And we can start reducing the population. As you can see with enough range, you can actually shoot at this fortress. Okay, now for this big part, the enemy units, they actually don't train them, they actually spawn on top of a hill. Which is very notorious about this quest, and one of the reasons why people dislike this quest, I don't know why, it's very similar to a legendary quest. Go on. Okay. 
Hurry up. Keep going. To make them stop spawning those units, you actually have to just complete the quest. So we have to destroy these fortresses. Second general. That's the second one now for the last fortress. Okay. Last few units, whatever. For treasure camps, one is over here, it's like behind the cliff or valley where the I wanna describe it. The leftmost fortresses. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, that's a treasure number one. Last treasure camp. <laughs> there are only two. Unfortunately. But it's the one over here. But on the cliff where the enemy units spawn, so getting there is a challenge, I would say. If you just try to go directly there, so it's better to just.
complete the quest. Okay, let's go over here, it's just over here, and that's all, that's pretty much the whole quest. And as you can see, I didn't lie, it's just a long line, you just go through here, 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 around. Now, if you're not using ranged units like chariots, you have to go through this gate to reach the... What is this, like the topmost fortress? But other than that, yeah, you just go here, up here is the, this fortress, go through here, there's the last fortress. It's just a long corridor quest, but you can actually help yourself with towers, ranged units, just because they are spawning here, you can just build towers here, and they will, like, keep getting hit by them, which is... Very important to mention. As you could see, the piercing frost is very strong because, goddamn, those walls, if you ever noticed ever, they have 76,000 health. And how long did it take them with these? I keep telling you, these, these arrows are very strong and they should not exist. Not in this form, if you ask me. And it's not nice that they exist. Okay, two treasure camps, like I said, up here, up here. Can't miss those. My recommendations: build your two TCs as soon as possible because obviously you want to boom as soon as possible. Train villagers. You can get markets, but I would say use them just to sell resources. Like there's a lot of wood. Look at those trees. There's a lot that you can sell. And then, yeah, another thing worth mentioning, the infantry units here actually have additional bonus against buildings here, so that makes it a little bit nicer for you to destroy the buildings. So even though it looks like these have a lot of health, your infantry will actually deal with those really fast. And another thing, there's a general archer unit at the fortress, very expensive one, but very powerful against the bi-reams and the enemy towers especially those different ones which they appear to be larger than the normal towers they actually have lower pierce armor I believe but they also have some crush armor but who cares you cannot go siege for the optional optional is obviously time challenge you need to work really fast to get that once you destroy the barracks though, they'll start spawning those units up here on the hill. I think that's when it starts happening after completing the destroying the barracks there. Other than that, yeah, no siege. And that's it. I don't know why it's that why it's just no siege would be more than enough. Okay. I think I show you <laughs> that this quest can be done very fast. Let's do some business. So I hope you enjoy this for the rewards. I mean, it's once every six days, two stars. So the long cooldown gives really nice rewards. Empire points, eighty, like that's a lot. Four thousand coins. Sure, why not? Two star chests, which is not that much. I mean, really nice rewards, like six thousand coins. That's nine chests in total. Plus two camps, which is not the largest number of treasure camps you can find, but it's not bad. No, that's a pretty bad one. Or rather close to the average, I don't know, right? I think that's below average. That build time is huge, not worth it that much. Other than that, yeah, it's not not good stuff for me today so i hope you enjoyed this and if you did please press the like button if you want to see more subscribe to the channel and yeah
Make sure to play all peace more often. It's not a bad quest, come on. <laughs> it's a nice quest, come on. You should try it. And another thing, hunting the angry old man challenge. Guys, only two more two more advisors for you to get. Well, one one for each, but yeah, only two more remaining for you to get. You want your legendary advisor? Go watch the videos, find the angry old man. Tell me when, tell me when, you know, watch the video about the rules, read the description so it's clear. And yeah, make sure to find him, and you can get your free advisor, free legendary advisor, whichever you want, doesn't matter, you will get it. Just watch it, find him. That's all from me for now, see you next time. Bye!